Good Monday morning. We are on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer to talk about the markets and Texas still dealing, of course, with Hurricane Harvey. Jim, refineries are closing. You have a stock play for us. What you write about real money? I have many on real money yes. this morning. I urge people to go because there's more than I can say in this video. Mm. Uh, historically, the biggest winners have been the insurers. Mm. People don't realize that, but they're able to raise rates off this. So for the first couple of days, the stocks have always gone down. Three months later, they're always up. So look at Progressive, look at Allstate, Travelers a little less. Look at Chubb. These have been real big, uh, real big beneficiaries of higher prices, as have been Marsh Mac and Aon, the two brokers. And don't forget, there could be relocation here. That's CBRE, the real estate company. When it comes to the ref to the refiners, they're the winners. Valero has said that uh, the rest of the country is safe. Now, the infrastructure is in good shape. They can't get their people to their uh, Gulf refiners. But if you want to play in uh, a refiner, go right ahead with that or Endeavor, which is the old Tesoro. A lot of people are playing United Rentals. That's not one that I included today because you need rental big equipment. It's going to be URI that is the winner. Uh, the losers here are all the oil companies that have Permian because the Permian won't be able to be used. Uh, Permian goes mostly, mostly to Gulf. Uh, various, whether it be uh, Texas or whether it be to Louisiana, and uh, the pipes are closed. Uh, there is no way for that oil to get there, so I expect the West Texas Intermediate to fall to 45. All right, everyone, please go to realmoney.com for more on how to play this storm. Jim, let's also talk about Uber, naming the Expedia CEO as the Uber CEO. Yeah, now, Expedia is correctly down a lot because Dara, who's the CEO, is extraordinary. He's managed to be able to battle against Wall Street, which is for years bet against Expedia. Expedia is becoming more and more like uh, Airbnb because of the home away acquisition and how much they've done. Uh, I, I am so impressed with what he'll do, but obviously it doesn't matter because uh, Uber's private. Um, do you think Dara is a better choice than, say, Jeff Immelt or Meg Whitman? They were also yes. being... Yes. I mean, I know Meg Whitman was disappointed. Uh, David Faber reported that she did speak to them on Saturday after giving multiple no's. Uh, HPE reports that, uh, next week. I, I, I don't want to... Uh, HP is in a very competitive dogfight with a couple of companies uh, it, where the price pressure is just really, really awful. Uh, I'd be very careful there. All right, let's also talk about General Electric. There was a report in Reuters that cost cuts are coming. You've been talking about this for quite some yeah, time. Yeah, uh, Action Alerts is buying GE. Why is that? Because we think that Flannery is already starting to right the ship. Uh, uh, Jeff Immelt ran a, a ship that was sloppy. Uh, that is my own judgment. I don't mind saying it. I am sure it will be refuted tooth and nail by GE, but your record is, frankly, uh, abysmal. And you are what your record says you are. So I think that Flannery coming in uh, and making these changes is a sign that Flannery did not have belief in the way the company was run. I don't blame him. It has to be run differently. All right, meanwhile, Procter & Gamble urging shareholders to vote against Nelson Peltz. What okay, did you think? if you have a longer-term view of how Procter has done, then you have to vote for Peltz. That's pretty simple. If you have a shorter-term view of how Mr. Taylor's done, then I think you want to give the company a pass and give, let their, uh, and not have Mr. Peltz on. Again, what are going to happen is, is that the people who uh, are in favor of the longer-term view will not like what I said. The people who are in favor of the shorter-term view will not like what I said. I don't do what I do uh, because I want to please anybody. I do what I do because I want to please you. <laughs> All right, there was also a Reuters report that the Western Digital CEO is in Tokyo potentially trying to finalize that Toshiba Yeah, deal. I mean, Western Digital, we sold it. We made a lot of money. If they get Toshiba, the stock goes much higher. Okay, let's also talk about Apple confirming that September 12th is their I, next... I, I don't know if they confirmed it. I mean, and press reports have confirmed it. I've been trying to speak with Apple directly. Uh, this is much faster than people thought. Apple will be pushed hard, I believe, by Warren Buffett when he is interviewed by Becky Quick on CNBC on Wednesday. Uh, I think that's important. It's also remembered important that he's been cutting back his IBM stake. What I find to be most interesting is the Broadcom reported last week, and we have a very good multiple analysis for action alerts mm -hmm. of why Broadcom fell uh, and a lot of it was because I think that they couldn't talk about Apple and how much it means. Uh, Avago Broadcom AVGO is being sold here. It's being sold here by people who feel there's no more upside. We saw the same thing with Nvidia. I say let the stock come down. Why? Because the people who sell it are not doing the homework that I'm doing. They are just looking and saying that there was no uh, guide up so therefore it's no good. This is the company that's the largest supplier to Apple. This is ahead of schedule for, uh, for Broadcom. Let the sellers finish and then buy it. 
All right, Jim, before we move on, we know you're a big iPhone user. You were in Georgia over the weekend posting yes. a ton of fantastic pictures well, that look, really took I mean, off. I, I do. I mean, I went to a wedding, and one of the things that I like about the iPhone is the multiple ways that you can bring things to light. Uh, obviously, on Twitter, my pictures were well received, and, I'm, and both Lisa and I thank you. The important thing to remember is, is that when you go on vacation, it is just an Instagram Twitter festival. <laughs> this is why I've been always favoring Facebook. I haven't been favoring Twitter because they've not been able to monetize it. But everything that I put on was just a mimic of what, of one tenth of what went on on Instagram with the people who were at the wedding. I think this is weddings, uh, big events, cruises. Once again, they verify the notion of experiential transfer to Instagram, good for Facebook. Don't forget gardens. <laughs> <laughs> yes, now my gardens will be this weekend. All right, we'll look forward to that. Jim, also Gilead Science is buying Kite Farmer for about okay, 12 Okay, why is this important? Because people have been feeling like, when is Gilead going to make a move? Gilead has not been able to deploy its cash. Gilead has been stuck very much on its one, on its hep C, which is a cure, so that's one time only. This is very positive. I do like CAR-T. You're talking about three, maybe four years in advance. It's multiple myeloma is their, one of their main areas, a lot of different blood cancers. When you think of blood cancer, you think of cell gene. Cell gene's going up today. That makes no sense to me. This is uh, dedicated to going up against cell gene, but people are going to say that there's going to be more takeovers in this industry. I believe there will be. The drugs, there are way too many drug companies. This is the beginning of consolidation. I have historically liked Juno as my car T play. Okay, Jim, the Amazon Whole Foods uh, deal closes today. Do you think there will be more Whole Foods locations? Oh, uh, uh, they should. I mean, at 400, they were going to go to 1,200. What's important here is, is that th these Whole Foods will be distribution centers and uh, centers to be able to move product to you. Uh, they are trying to have, they'll be much closer to you than they are currently, although in the urban environments, Whole Foods is ready to take over. Uh, the Whole Foods had the most, was was able to make the most money per square foot. They could cut it in half and still be able to, I think, uh, do quite well, uh, which is bad news for Kroger, but that stock has come down a great deal. Let it lift. Uh, bad news for Costco. Stock came down a great deal. You can let it lift. I don't think that you necessarily want to be in these stocks longer term because Amazon, whatever it touches, has hurt them so much. Let's go over to Home Depot. Home Depot and Lowe's are both up on the storm. Home Depot was up a dollar on Friday. Historically, these stocks have had a two-day Day pop after hurricanes. We are now in day two. Uh, don't forget that Home Depot is going up against Sears, Amazon when it comes to appliances. Appliances have been a very big ticket for them. I like Home Depot, but I uh, but I understand that now you have a lot of fast money in the stock. That worries me. All right, Jim, staying with some of these retailers, what are you expecting from Best Buy's earnings on Tuesday? Best Buy is at 52-week high, so therefore it usually means that the smart money is already bet that it's going to be good. My problem there is, again, it'll be good and then people talk about Amazon. And uh, Amazon stock, by the way, multiple good articles about it. Uh, I, Doug Cass has a good piece today. Don't forget to always check Bruce Kamich because he's been dead right on a lot of the, the negative stocks. But uh, Amazon's been going down. And uh, Amazon's been going down because I think people just say, you know what, if they're going to do all these things, they're really going to crater their gross margins. Uh, so therefore, I don't want to be in Amazon. I myself do not want to be in Amazon. It's my least favorite FANG stock. Hmm. All right. Jim Kramer, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much. You. As always, for more information on the stocks Jim mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com.